Now all you're concerned with at this point is the pins and the center hole. You don't need to be concerned about these two spots because those are just for holding the ruler onto the Phantom when we do a calibration later on. So we come over here, click on the cross hatch, make sure it goes through there. If it's not going through these pins, you need to physically go out there again and move the Phantom one way or another. Once you get this lined up, you need to again go back and do a repeat series, hit OK, and go back to the zero location again. By either setting these to zero again, this one and this one, or by going to this and going back to your previous picture of the other end. It might be picture number five, picture number ten, wherever you took the picture, in the zero location, you can click on that, say OK, and as you notice, all of the parameters went back to zero. Okay. Once you're back to zero, zero again, take another picture, display that picture, make sure that once you changed the back end of the Phantom to line up, that the front end didn't move. So sometimes you're going to be going back and forth 10 times, sometimes 30 times. It just depends on, on, on how, how you get this thing lined up. And this is all done before you start aligning the lasers? Uh, this is all lasers. done before we even start the install. Okay. Because what we have to do is put a laser level on the Phantom and shoot the walls and we need to know that that phantom is exactly mimic, mimic, mimicking isocenter out 600 millimeters from the real This here is a template that we placed on the uh, on the ceiling plate and uh, we have uh, the laser uh, dot marking where that plate goes and I'm going to drill these holes in the end of this template in order to mount the laser. Um, we got to this point by knowing where this was by scanning this phantom down here and making sure that it was centered with the ISO center of the machine. Once we did that, we were able to put the laser on the phantom, shoot it to the ceiling, mark the center point, take the, uh, the uh, template to the plate, and drill the holes. So once, once that's done, we drill the holes. finish drilling then we tap the holes. That's making the threads so the screws will go in. Yep, you are correct. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to, since we drilled, this paper is full of, of metal uh, shavings from the drilling and we don't want that to go into all of these vents on top of the CT machine 
So we need to take this down carefully. We need to reuse this template, so therefore we can't destroy the template. So Gary and I will be very careful that we don't spill anything. And you have to save the template. We have to save the template to do the side, the side lasers. Do this in a different order, which is the way you should do it. But for filming purposes, we did it this way. You should do the sides first, and then do this, the ceiling, as the last one. Therefore, you can destroy the template then at the end and just throw it in the box and not have to worry about it. You want to say anything about the plate mounting and what they had to do? Uh, the plate, the plate is mounted with, uh, um, you know, they mount them in several different ways, but it just has to be free of vibration, and that means it, uh, it's usually to what they call a unistrut construction method, and it's very solid. Here to put the laser up. It's nowhere to put the laser up. So what we have is that we measure down the distance from our laser level to the center of the phantom, which is, in this case, two, two centimeters, two, two, mil, uh, two inches, and then we went down from that. So now we just take the template, and we find the center or the cross of that, and match it up to the hole or the dots or the mark on the plate. Okay, and then we just have to do this, and then we level it. You're leveling the paper? Leveling the paper, just so that we know that we're square. In this case, it's perfect. So then we just tape it down. And then mark and then drill. Just marking, start marking the plate and the templates. So there's holes where you're marking? Correct. There's holes where you're marking the center of them. And then I'm just going to take this down and then we're going to drill. Now you're going to drill. Okay. So, stop. He's drilling. Very hard to drill through. Aluminum go through a lot easier, so uh, uh, try to have aluminum on uh, any of the installs if at all possible. The outlets. The same thing uh, Gary was doing on the other side there. I'm just finding this uh, center mark here that we marked on there uh, um, after the phantom was scanned and we uh, shot the laser level over here. And so I'm just doing the same. I'm finding this center point here on the template, putting it over that X right there. So. Doing the to redrill the holes, we still need to tap them, so that's what I'm doing now. We need to go and tap them. We might need to have some tapping oil to help get through. I'm 
mount this uh, laser arm to this plate right here. The way I know it's on this side, this is the, uh, as you're looking at the CT machine, this is the left side of the room. It's going to be Z1. The way you find out if it, which one, which arm is uh, Z1, down at the bottom there's a small little marker down there that says Z1. We're going to take these, get on the other side here. I'm going to go over there. Got me left. Okay. Okay, you need uh, four bolts. They come with the kit in the boxes. Um, we're just going to uh, roughly mount these. See, it's a little bit difficult. They're heavy arms. You might need to hold it with your knee. And down below. And then what we'll do once we have this loose on there, we'll take the level and level it. Stop. Okay, once we have these roughly screwed on, we'll put the level on top of the laser arm. Get it about, uh, you know, centered on these holes, because that's how we did it on the template. We'll move it up just a little bit, kind of hold it with your knee. Looks about centered. We need it level. So, move it around until you get it level and centered. Tighten it down. Once you have the two tight level, tighten the two bottom ones. Stop. Okay, this is the cabling that we ran from the computer room. Um, you have a uh, power cable, the large gray cable, data cable, the small gray cable, ground cable, the white cable, and the pendant cable which looks like a telephone cable, the flat cable. That's all going to the Z1 side. This flat cable only goes to this side. That's the left side, Z1. That's the left side. Um, you can put it to the uh, right side also if you want. It just depends. We normally put it on the left side. Um, but it, it, it's really what the hospital prefers. If they don't have any preference, we put it over here. Okay. Um, once we have these run through here, we got to have enough cable to be able to somewhat pleasingly make these cables look decent over to the arm. It's going to come through this hole in the arm. We leave enough and push it back through once we're done. So we need to strip the ends of all of these cables. This takes a special tool. These just strip normally, and there's uh, connectors that we put on them. Do you have the tool that you use for the uh, stripping?